awakening through the I am. Step by step by Nisargadatta Maharaj. Step one, start from the I am. Maharaj's guidance. Start by focusing deeply on the sense of I am. Let this awareness be your anchor without associating it with any identity. Remain centered in the experience of pure being. Meditate on the I am without words, without attaching any identity. Simply be aware of this sense of being. Dwell on the sense of I am deeply and without distraction. Simply rest in the awareness of being without striving for any outcome. Hold on to the sense I am and do not let your attention be diverted. Only the I am is certain. The I am is your only capital. The sense of I am is the root of all, yet it is not you, it is a tool for knowing. Once its purpose is served, it too must be let go. Step two. Understand the transience of I am. Maharaj's guidance. Recognize the impermanence of the I am. It appears and disappears, but it is not your essence. Understand that you are the one beyond. The one who remains untouched by its coming and going. The moment the I is proven unreal, who is it who knows that the I is unreal? This knowledge within you that knows the I is unreal. That knowledge which knows change must itself be changeless, permanent. The sense of I am is the root of all, yet it is not you. It is a tool for knowing. Once its purpose is served, it too must be let go. Step three. Disidentify from the body and the mind. Maharaja's guidance. Observe the body, breath, and mind as objects of perception. Know that you are not these objects, but the witness. Step four. 
stabilize in this witnessing and allow detachment from the body and mind to occur naturally. You can watch the body, so you are not the body. You can watch the breath, so you are not the vital breath. In the same way, you are not the consciousness, but you have to become one with the consciousness. As you stabilize in the consciousness, dispassion for the body and for the expressions through the body occurs spontaneously. The body and the mind are only instruments. You are not what is perceived, but that which perceives. Know yourself as the witness of the body-mind. Whatever happens, happens to the body and to the mind. Let it happen. Just remain aware of it without identifying. Step four. Observe consciousness as a phenomenon. Maharaja's guidance. Once you have stabilized in the consciousness, take the next step to observe it as a phenomenon. Do not get entangled in the content of consciousness. Recognize that you are beyond it as the absolute witness. Having stabilized in the consciousness, the next step is to be in a position to observe the consciousness. And all the play that is happening in the consciousness, just to understand Consciousness itself is a phenomenon. Be aware of it without being caught up in it. You are beyond even consciousness as the absolute witness. To know what you are, you must first know what you are not. Observe how consciousness behaves and see that you are not the content of consciousness. Step five, transcend all concepts. Maharaja's guidance. Transcend all concepts, including the I am. These are merely tools, and ultimately, they are limitations.
Let go of all identifications and remain in your natural unlimited state. Understand that this is also to be discarded. The principle which can pass judgment on whether the world is or is not. That principle antedates the world. All concepts. Even the concept of I am are limitations. Transcend all such limitations and remain in your natural state. You must abandon all that you think you are and all that you think the world is to know what truly is. The real is beyond concepts and names. Step six. Rest in the absolute. Maharaja's guidance. Rest in the absolute. Where there is nothing to gain or lose. It is a state beyond all needs, desires, and identifications. Simply be, without any striving. When the knowingness goes, the absolute will not know I am. Appearance and disappearance, birth and death. These are the qualities of beingness. They are not your qualities. The absolute is beyond all experiences and beyond consciousness itself. It is the state where nothing is and nothing is needed. Remain in that state in which there is no need for anything. The state where there are no needs. No desires. And no identification. That is the absolute. When you realize that you are not the person, but the witness only, and that pure awareness is your true nature, then you will be free. You will know yourself, not as an object in consciousness, but as the changeless 
unchanging background upon which consciousness appears and disappears. Stay with the I am.